Good morning, coming to you live from NASDAQ's global headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Welcome to this week's uh, Tuesday edition of NASDAQ Advisory Live, brought to you by NASDAQ Corporate Solutions. I'm your host, Will Briganti. Thank you for joining us live on Twitter on Periscope. Uh, this is going to be the first week where our program is going to be going to twice weekly, so thanks so much for tuning in. And I'm joined today by Adam Lazarus from NASDAQ Corporate Solutions. Adam, great to have you here. Great to be back, William. So for all of our viewers, Adam is an advisory services analyst with NASDAQ Corporate Solutions. And Adam specializes with utilities, but we're going to kind of talk generally today. So what, uh, what is uh, sort of on your mind right now, Adam, in terms of the market? Uh, so right now we just finished the first half of 2017. So I wanted to just do a little recap and some of the drivers we're going to look to for the second half of 2017 that's going to drive the market. What can you tell us? Okay. Well, so far we saw the NASDAQ composite for the first half of the year have its best run since 2009, finishing 14% higher. We also saw the S&P 500 and the Dow also up 8% in the first half, which for all three indices hit record highs. Mm -hmm. We saw the Federal Reserve raise interest rates twice. Right. And we did see actually treasury yields year to date have gone lower, even with the interest rate hikes. We've seen oil also go lower, but we've seen the uh, gold go higher. Okay. Now, what would point to stock benchmarks going higher? Okay. There's a few things. Uh, one, we've seen a strengthening of corporate earnings. We've also seen improved economies uh, all over the world and continued support from central banks uh, all over the world, which has helped to driven not just the U.S. market, but We've seen other markets worldwide go up over 10%. Right. Now, can you give us more of a breakdown for specific sectors? Sure. So the uh, best performing sector in the U.S. was the tech sector, which is based on the strength of some of the big heavyweights in the U.S., like Amazon, Facebook, and Google. Right. Uh, we also saw some outperformance from consumer discretionary and from the healthcare sector. Okay. And which uh, sectors didn't fare as well? Okay. So the laggards um, for the markets here in the U.S. were the energy sector and also telecom. Energy was down as we saw the price of oil go lower as we have a huge global supply delay. Okay. Now, what should our viewers, particularly from the investor relations community, be looking forward to in the second half? Okay. Well, the old always important, the Federal Reserve, they've raised interest rates now twice. Mm -hmm. We're going to see if they stay true to their word and actually raise it for a third time later this year. We're also looking to see if they unwind their balance sheet. And e whether they do either one, we're likely to see Treasury yields go higher as there will be a continuation of the recent bond sell-off we're, we're seeing, which will also steepen Treasury yields, which helps bank stocks. Also, volatility was extremely low for the beginning. Oh, actually, all of this year so far. We'll see if that continues into the second half and then to the third and fourth quarter. Okay, so any insight or predictions into specific sector performance? Sure. Well, we're going to see if the tech sector continues to outperform. Energy, we're going to watch OPEC and the U.S. Uh, crude production to see if they decide to cut production, if the supply uh, the global glut continues, yeah. or if energy can come higher. We're also going to watch the retail sector as we've seen a lot of bankruptcies of late and to see if that may continue, which of course adversely affects the REIT sector. Sure, of course. Okay. Uh, and then just my final question for you is we can't talk about business uh, this year without talking about some of the political landscape. So any kind of insight there? I know uh, President Trump was advocating for tax reform, but any predictions there? Sure. Well, the main driver since the election of the markets going higher has been this push for tax reform, which if they were to lower the corporate tax rate, right. we'll see profits go up, which is why we've been seeing record highs. Now, as long as the market still thinks that's going to happen, even if it gets pushed into 2016, we're still going to see markets go higher, along with the strength from corporate earnings right. and just the economies worldwide are improving. Okay. Um, besides that, we're going to watch geopolitics can always come into play, sure, of course. the Brexit negotiations in Europe, the latest out of Syria, such as this potential ceasefire, North Korea is always the wild card because right. anything could happen with them. But whatever does happen, you can always come to us and we will explain how it's going to affect investors moving forward. Great. Well, we'll leave it there, Adam. Thank you so much. Uh, so for all of our viewers, as Adam mentioned, uh, if you want more information about NASDAQ Advisory Services, uh, you can leave us a comment uh, here. You can uh, ask us a question on Twitter. 
um, at MyCorp Solutions, or you can visit our website, that's business.nasdaq.com. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you right back here uh, live on Twitter at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday, uh, where we're going to discuss the real estate investment trust sector, the REIT sector with Mike Spector. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. Thanks, Adam.